My name is Tom Wolf. I'm the product application engineer for Logic here at NXP Semiconductor. The modern cell phone is an absolute miracle of integration. It combines billions and billions of semiconductor devices inside a single package. Now there's a lot of integration in there, but there's still a need for single packages, single gates. How do you find room in such a small package for these very, very tiny semiconductor devices? With that, I'd like to introduce you to something called the NXP Diamond Pack. Diamonds from NXP. Now this is the family of NXP Logic Gates and the packages that are the most common in the mobile market. We call them the Pico Gate and the Micro Pack. Don't worry about their numbers and sizes in particular, but from the top of the chart to the bottom, the devices get smaller and smaller. Packages which are a couple millimeters across to packages which are less than one millimeter across the size. Now the first thing you might guess is as the package gets smaller, so do the pins. And what we do is we call that the pitch. The pitch is the distance between the center of one pin to the pin next to it. Today's most advanced technology is on the order of 0.3 millimeters of pitch. So 0.3 millimeter pitch is very tiny. For reference, the average business card is about 0.3 millimeters across. Imagine trying to place and mount something that is that narrow. Now the neat part about micro packs is that we use the same silicon for a number of different devices. This means that we build a huge number of these. Literally billions of these devices are built per year, which makes them cost effective. They're very reliable, they're very strong, they give us a tremendous amount of flexibility for it. However, as these packages get smaller and smaller, we come up with a real challenge. The distance between these leads is so small that it becomes very, very difficult to manufacture them. So let's look at that. Now this is the picture of a printed circuit board from above where the part would land. This is obviously greatly magnified because the part itself is less than a millimeter in each direction. And you can see from the edge as well too. So if you look at the edge of the device, what we're going to do now is show you how a part is typically assembled. You take the bare board itself and you take something called a stencil. We take the stencil, we lay it down on the board, and you run essentially a squeegee across the top of it and you put a small amount of solder paste through the holes in the board. So it actually lays a small amount of paste down on the board below. Now as you can guess, the amount of paste that goes through is based on the thickness of the board itself. The thickness of the stencil will determine how much solder goes on it. As the board gets smaller and smaller and as the pitch gets tinier and tinier, you have to put less and less solder onto it. Until you get to some point where they're so small together is that you can't put that little solder on the board. So what we have to do is invent something called a, a step-down stencil. A step-down stencil is a stencil which is much thinner, which means it captures much less solder paste and puts less solder paste on the board so that we get the amount that we need. Now, the challenge occurs with these stencils. They are very, very thin. In fact, they're about 81 millionths of a meter thick, which is thinner than any piece of paper or metal or, or anything that you can really compare them to. It makes them expensive and fragile. So a lot of customers do not like working with these stencils, which means they cannot work with the very, very fine pitch packages that they want to use. So what do you do? You want a very small package, but you need a very big pitch so that you can manage it. The solution is the NXP Diamond Pack. What we do is we take a part, and instead of measuring from side to side, we play games with the dimensions on it. The pitch is measured from the nearest pin to the one adjoining it, which is either along the edge or across the diagonal. So in this case, we can actually build a device which is 0.8 millimeters on a side, but the pitch is 0.5 millimeters. So it is a smaller package, but a bigger pitch. Now for reference, because we're talking about such small things, this is the picture of a diamond pack sitting on an average size head of a pin. Head of a pin is about two millimeters across. You talk about something which is well less than half the size of a pin. So very tiny devices, but even older manufacturing technology can pick, place, and successfully solder this package. So the diamond package, a solution towards the problem of making your packages smaller and smaller, but getting them to fit and be able to assemble them carefully, the NXP Diamond Pack. So for your very small packaging needs, look for the NXP Diamond Pack. For more information, go to our website, www.nxp.com.